So, I have decided that we are going to key this and this. I'm not convinced that grub screws will hold up to the pressure put on by the brake handle. So we're going to key them. So I have bought a keyway brooch, a 5mm this time, and a keyway bush. The right size for the hole. Like so, we're going to do some keyway broaching again. Woohoo! And somebody asked what this is for months and months ago on my press. And today, I'm going to give the answer of what this is used for on a hydraulic press. And today is quite a holy day, with it being Sunday. It's quite a religious thing. Right, so as we're going to do a round object, there is no V in these blocks. And if we just use the edge, like so, there isn't a lot of material here and here supported while we've got the pressure coming down. So this this lovely ob object over the holes and you can support the entire round object with this spread across. So it's all spread in the pressure of the downward of the press. So this one, I'm gonna do both pieces at the same time because uh, I want the keyways to match uh, before we weld it. You can see down there that we have the start of the keyway. Right, so we're going to put the shim in. We put that at the back. Obviously, we haven't moved the bush. It will be going in exactly the same place. Which it is. One keyway. Beautiful. Right, we'll get the rest of them done. So I have been and got some key steel for the keyways that you've just seen me do. What I have done, that I've done off camera, is I've cut this shaft down. It is now cut to length and if you look on the other side you will see that I've left it slightly longer. That is so that this spare boss can be machined down and it'll go on the end because we may want to install a steam brake to the locomotive, which could come in handy when you're just driving it around on its own, instead of using the train brake, which is a separate system. So this boss here, we're gonna have that, we're gonna have it about 25 mil from this edge, so the center of the shaft comes up. We're gonna change how we're gonna do the uh, brake column, uh, but I'll go through that later on. But yeah, we want the center of this about 25, so as long as that's flush, I can mark 
the middle. So with that roughly set, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my sharpie and I'm just going to draw a line here because there's nothing precision about this. Draw it on the other side because when I machine the slot, I'm going to machine it slightly longer than this central boss so we do have a, a slight bit of adjustment if we need to. So I'll probably make it about 5mm longer, the slot, so it, it's got a bit of a movement so we can adjust it so that the brakes operate perfectly. Should be it. I will set a stop up at that end. Uh, we'll take it off and try it. I don't want to uh, take this out without having a stop on in case we need to change it. Right, I've cut a key. And here's our slot. It's a little tight. It'll go in though. Went in before, there we are. I've made it a tight fit, you see. Like a glove. Woohoo! Check that out. Smarty party. And obviously because it's sticking out a little bit, as you can hopefully see, we can adjust it left and uh, right so we get the perfect setup. And then we can just nip those screws up and that will stop it sliding. Perfect. Right, so we'll get this back in so we can figure out where the position of the one on the end needs to be. Oh, I've forgotten the bar. Right, so our line is there. I've uh, also sorted uh, that out a little bit more so it sits in easier so I can get it out. So that's going to go on there. And then we can connect. This can go on here. Now. We need this to sit here, so the brakes are now on. There's not much in it. I'll just use this piece of tube here to push that to push that forward. So where this key is, I need to mark a line on here. And whereabouts it is? Doesn't there's no critical science to this. It's just somewhere about. So I reckon that position is probably the best. So it's got room to move up, to tighten the brakes on, space to drop to let them off. 
So I reckon that's good. I reckon there. And it also shouldn't interfere with the um, die block. So using the power of a sharpie. That looks like the middle. Somewhere there. What we are going to do is when we machine it, because I've already drawn a line on for the length of this, is we're going to go from that line and we're going to come along, but we're not going to break through the end. We're going to make it a captive key on one side so it can't fall out. Right, so I'm going to turn it around, I'm going to do the slot for the other end, um, which is a bit shorter than this one. Well, that's it for this video. If you've liked what you've seen and you haven't already, then maybe consider clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell. You'll be notified when we next release a video. And if you wouldn't mind tickling the like button, that will help it share around to like-minded folk, just like yourself. And uh, clicking over here, you could uh, watch one of these fabulous choices from my collection of videos. Stay safe. Laters. Hmm, that's a good one.